Goodyear's investing in the new technology of non-pneumatic tires, airless tires, uh, because we wrapped it into a bold goal for our innovation of by 2030, have the first 100% sustainable and maintenance-free tire. It sort of sets a North Star for our innovation, our energy, and our passion to try to do this kind of technology. Uh, and we see this really as a way to have a maintenance-free solution uh, on vehicles such as autonomous uh, cars and, and shuttles for people. The technology will help an autonomous future uh, because it enables things like always having the vehicle doing what it was designed to do. You don't have to worry about air monitoring or air pressure or any possible flat tires that could stop a vehicle uh, from working the way it's supposed to work in an autonomous space. Uh, so it really, really helps the customers that are trying to develop these vehicles uh, to be worry-free with the tire uh, and just deal with the systems they have to de design to make it autonomous. Uh, the technology of an airless tire, if it's well designed, uh, works by hanging the structure or hanging the vehicle from the top of the structure. Uh, it's not pushing down, as you might think, on the solid pieces that are connected to the tread. Uh, it's designed similar to a tension bridge, where the vehicle is driving across the bridge, but the bridge is hanging from the top. This is what allows uh, the, the system to be soft and compliant like you find in a traditional tire. Yeah, Goodyear's testing these tires globally in all our proving grounds and test facilities around the world, uh, but specifically we've gone into market in a couple of key areas. Uh, the first one was uh, robo shuttles of moving people, about eight people like a minibus, uh, in the city of Jacksonville, Florida. So we had, a, we had a nice tire architecture designed for that vehicle and could test right there in the field and learn. Another one is actually a much smaller vehicle, a micro delivery robot uh, that delivers small packages such as coffee, maybe a bag of food. Uh, and we have tires on these vehicles in the United States, the UK, uh, and even in the country of Estonia. So we're getting outside of our proving grounds and putting them out in the field in the market. The future for this new technology we see is helping enable the fleets of autonomous vehicles as they mature. The more and more you can build in a redundant system where they never have to worry about what's happening at the tire's corner, it helps them drive their software and work on the parts of that vehicle that are really uh, difficult to, to overcome, like sensing everything in the road, and they don't need to worry about the tires in this case. It helps enable that whole future come faster. Goodyear's technology on airless tires we see is really helping enable the future of autonomous vehicles. Uh, partly because it's maintenance free, you don't have to worry about uh, the tire system, the software therefore won't have to uh, understand how to control if the tire were to go flat, that can't happen. Uh, it's also got redundancy built into it. You don't have any catastrophic loss of air uh, and so the vehicles will always be able to operate even if there's no driver in the, in the car.